Hi, I'm Samantha Senevaratna, and I'm going to show you how to make chicken and milk with grapes and thyme. It's a lovely, cozy, one-pot fall dinner. We'll start with some chicken that we're going to brown and get nice and crisp, and then just make a really beautiful sauce with mustard, shallots, thyme, and some real milk to add a luscious creaminess. I can't wait to get started. I have my four bone-in skin on chicken thighs. I've pat them dry just a little bit so that I can get a nice, good sear on them. Put a little olive oil in my skillet. You won't need very much because that skin is really gonna render a lot of fat. Once it starts to smoke, I can season. I always do a pretty hefty season. Some salt and pepper. We'll put our chicken skin side down. You always wanna hear that sound when you put your chicken in. That's how you know. Your pan is hot enough. We'll cook that for about four minutes until it's really golden brown, and you know that it's not ready if you can't move it. You can see it's fully stuck to the pan. I can't move it. Once it's fully browned, it will release cleanly. You just have to give it time. And now that they're in, I can season the other side of my meat. Okay, so these are golden brown, nice and crisp. So flip them over, and we can add our grapes. I'm using red grapes. It's going to get a little bit of color on them, soften them ever so slightly for about two to three minutes. You've never had cooked grapes? I mean, it's not for everybody, but I like them. I buy these big bunches of grapes, and then I have trouble using them up. So this is a great recipe to use up that whole big bag of grapes. Sweet and savory, really good and it's so pretty. I've only had the grapes in there for about a minute and a half, two minutes. I'm just trying to get it browned in spots and like they're just starting to wrinkle a little bit. I'm gonna remove my chicken. Don't worry about using the same pan again. We're gonna put all this back in the skillet and cook it fully so there's no worry about that. I'm gonna take the grapes out with a slotted spoon so I can assess the amount of fat that's in the skillet. I only need about two tablespoons moving forward. Actually, it looks just about the right amount of fat. Okay, so I have some fat in my skillet. I'm gonna add my shallots that I've thinly sliced. We're gonna get those golden brown. Take about six minutes on medium heat. Don't forget to season. My shallots are on their way to golden. I'm gonna add my sliced garlic and some chopped thyme. It goes so well together. Garlic, shallots, and thyme. It's a beautiful foundation for any dish. And we're gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. And you really want to scrape up those brown bits that you got from the chicken with your wooden spoon. All of that's gonna get into the sauce and just add so much richness. So we'll cook it down, let most of that alcohol cook off. We're just adding a little bit of acidity. So once my wine is cooked down, the alcohol's cooked off, I've scraped up all my brown bits. I can add my flour. So this is two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. But I'm just gonna cook a little bit and then we can add our star ingredient. Okay, now I'm gonna add my milk. This is gonna make a really luxurious velvety sauce. It's so good. And you just can't get it with anything else but real milk. So we'll add it just a little bit at a time. And you can see it'll start to thicken immediately. Yum. Okay, so now I can add just a little bit of broth because what we're gonna do next is add our chicken back in so that it can braise in this liquid until it's cooked through. The milk in the sauce is really gonna tenderize that meat so that it stays really moist and juicy. So now I'm adding a little bit of grainy mustard, just a little more brightness, a little more acidity. Also, it looks so pretty. I love how the little seeds fold in. Ooh, it looks so good. Now I can return my chicken to the skillet skin side up. And now I'm gonna return my grapes to the skillet. 
and everything is gonna cook down. The chicken's gonna cook through. All the flavors are gonna meld. Those grapes are gonna soften. The milk is gonna tenderize the meat. It's gonna be great. Now we'll just cover it up and let that simmer for about 20 minutes on the stove. Do I leave? Sure. <laughs> My chicken is done. Look at that luscious sauce. Wow. I have a little bit of white rice here, brown rice, potatoes, noodles, whatever you're in the mood for. Love it. And then I'll finish it just with a little bit of fresh thyme, just because it's so pretty. You get to taste it. Mmm. It's so nice. It's sweet. It's savory. You really get the mustard and the shallots, all those aromatics just build a beautiful sauce. And using real milk here just makes it so luxurious. And my chicken is so tender. It's wonderful.